What's going on guys? It is Insanity here and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to farm the Windigo within Borderlands 3. Just before this video starts, please go ahead and leave a like on the video as it does help this channel grow or if you found it informative and also please subscribe if you are new. I do Borderlands content like this almost every single day on the channel. So yeah, I have a playlist on my channel called How to Borderlands for all your Borderlands needs and whatnot and that link will be down in the description below. So as I said before, we are going to be talking about the Windigo boss within Borderlands 3. Three. It is available in the second DLC, so therefore if you do not own it, you cannot farm it. The second DLC is Guns, Love, and Tentacles, just so you guys know. With that noted, we are going to move forward, and he can be found in the Cankerwood on Xylorgos. So just follow this route I have on screen right now. Now, I would like to say that there is, at the time, at this current patch, there is a super skip you are able to do, and it cuts the time with this travel time in half. But I am not going to include it in this video for the reason being, I it, just in case it gets patched, I just want the real way of how to get to the boss i ran out of breath there so yeah just follow this route and have on screen make sure you activate this new use station i have had a few instances where i go to the new use station and i do not activate it and i get sent back to the previous checkpoint so i would just recommend seeing if it's green and if it's green you're good to go and when you're ready just jump right into this boss fight and this boss is a very very easy boss to farm the only reason why it's a very easy boss to fight is because the windigo doesn't have designated stages to its fight it is pretty much just a bombardment of attacks that don't have any like triggers on how when he does this attack it is just random so his attacks consist of fire breathing he charges you with his antlers and then he can jump around on the ceiling making icicles fall now if you do kill him quick enough with a high power weapon like in the video I'm using the hydrofrost pistol if you kill him very very fast he will not be able to jump around the ceiling because that comes later on in the boss fight so pretty much the very first part if you're very powerful just run around the windigo and I'm think you'll be okay you know you just keep dealing damage that's literally this boss farm just keep dealing as much damage as you can and eventually you will kill it now if he does end up jumping around the ceiling you are still able to shoot him and once he goes up on a ledge he will have his critical hit spot available for you to shoot there his critical hit spot is his lower stomach it is all open for you to shoot now just for some tips on going into this farm the wendigo is a fire enemy meaning that obviously he resists fire and also he does have a red bar of health and fire is the best thing against a red bar of health so the net so since we can't use fire we're gonna have to use the second best thing which is corrosion or you can use Cairo and slow down the windigo so if you have a decent one like the breath of dying or a hydrofrost I would definitely recommend it so yeah this farm literally you just keep dealing damage just keep going keep firing that's all you gotta do this boss also has the chance to drop the Storos burn Storos burn I'm not sure how to pronounce it there will be a video on that coming tomorrow just so you know so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you guys did enjoy please leave a like as it does help the channel grow and if you missed my last video it is about actually funny how i mentioned it it is about the hydro Ross pistol so definitely go check that out in the description if you are interested in getting one and one last announcement before i end this video i just want to let you guys know on february february holy crap we're in april on april 14th i'm going to be doing a giveaway legendary live stream and then we're going to be giving away hydro Frost, lobs flackers insiders all the above you name it you want it i got it i'll be giving away those on my stream so just follow my twitch down in the description and my twitter as well just for the news on the stream otherwise that's pretty much it i love you all and i'll see you all later